It's Memorial Day weekend in Gardner, Montana. Gateway to Yellowstone. But there's one spectacular sight here you won't see in the famous park. The Hells of Roaring Horse Drive. Every year on this holiday weekend, outfitter Warren Johnson and a few of his friends drive hundreds of his horses right through the middle of town and up a winding mountain road to the summer headquarters of Hells Aurora Outfitters, named after a Yellowstone area creek. Johnson's been doing the drive since he started the business back in 1982. Our first year in business, they delivered him to Gardner, and I had no way, I didn't own a horse trailer, barely owned a pickup. So me and a nine-year-old boy went down there and we chased them home. The horses had no idea where to go. They, they were new horses. So we went up and down the alleys and we finally got them headed in the right direction and brought them on home. Took us about three and a half, four hours, but we got them here. And since then, it's just uh, been traditional. It's a tradition that packs the Gardner roadside that people young and old love to watch. But the best seat is on the back of a horse. I've done it on and off since I was about 12 years old. Let's get a little Western out there once in a while. Yeah, it does, especially when they run through the car wash or <laughs> into somebody's yard. Good time. Warren's daughter, Amy, has been riding the drive her yeah. entire life. Still as fun as ever? Oh, yeah. Yeah, love the business and love this. And it's great. So you two are rookies, huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Excited? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very, very excited. A little nervous, but yeah. I think we'll do OK. <laughs> they can definitely handle it. Yeah, they're good. All right. Before it all begins, there's excitement in the air that Saturday morning at a big corral just outside Gardner, where the horses have been trucked in from the Wyoming pasture where they've spent the winter. Oh, yeah. Definitely. The anticipation. You can feel yeah. it building. Yeah. There are a lot of horses all the horses run. are <laughs> getting jacked up, so. The cowboys and cowgirls who'll drive the herd include the wranglers who'll work for Warren this summer, plus family, friends, and ranch guests who come here from all over the world, like Enzo Pelizzaro, here from Italy in his cool woolly chaps for his fifth drive. Yeah, and he's still alive. <laughs> They're laughing. How many people are not still alive? <laughs> I love the West. Ma Trucci is here from France for her first drive. You pretty excited? Yeah, I am. <laughs> and I have a good horse, so he's going to help me. And she loves Warren's horses. She's even bought a few and flown them back to France. The horses here are amazing. Good mind, strong horses. Well broke by Warren. So. And Warren loves sharing the Western way of life. And you know, and I'm bringing that, that tradition to Italy, France, Brazil. People are coming over here to do that and see that. And uh, they love our lifestyle. They think it's the greatest thing going. Got nine minutes, Brad. Finally, the time has come and the drive is off. And it's quite an experience for both man, beast, and spectators. As the animals navigate parked cars and parking lots, on their way through town. Then up a hill. Stopping for a break and a snack along the way. First time for both oh, of yeah. you? How's it going? It's exhilarating, it's awesome. Break time ends. We're back on the road again and up the mountain. <laughs> drive trots through the tiny community of Jardine before finally reaching the ranch. Where the animals will spend the summer making horseback memories in the spectacular Yellowstone region that will last a lifetime. But while the drive is over, the fun is just beginning. For years, Warren has used the annual horse drive to throw a big Western party with dinner, music, dancing, and an auction to raise money for a good cause. Buying high-tech track wheelchairs for disabled veterans sure changed his life. And others who need them. Warren Johnson donated this to my father last year. Very, very, very kind of him. Each custom-made chair, which costs about $20,000, allows its owner to stand up 
and thanks to its treads, go most anywhere. It's a cause the community turns out in a big way to support. They're raising money for a very good cause. Photographer Ron Hayworth was among the many donating items for the auction. And Bill Lander spent thousands bidding on a belt buckle. For Helen Warren and what they're doing, that's cheap. Warren Johnson and family, they donate their time and money. Hundred percent of the money is going for the track chairs. It's a neat charity to support. There was more action in the nearby horse arena, where Warren saddled up a bronc to buck off the ashes of an old friend. I used to trade horses with him when I was a kid. He sold me uh, three mules. I was 14 years old. It's the Western way of life, working hard, doing what you love, loving what you do, and lending a hand along the trail. I'm not giving a hand out, I'm giving a hand up, and I've had a few hand ups in life, and I'd like to return the favor. And they'll do it again next Memorial Day weekend.